Hey what's up folks GK here. So in this video I'm gonna show you how I have created this sample website using Google Cloud Storage. So this is a very simple tutorial. Uh, it, it just takes a couple of steps to create your website uh, using Google Cloud Storage and I highly recommend watching this video till the end uh, because I'm gonna give you a challenge where you can accept it and you know you can create your own website using GCS. So one thing to note though is uh, as you all know you can create a simple website through multiple ways like you can have host your own web server in a compute engine or you can uh, try to put the html content in the cloud function but for me the simplest way of achieving this uh, was using the google cloud storage and i'm gonna give you a pro tip uh, in the end which i have used it's like a zero dollar website you don't have to pay anything besides the domain which is which is going to cost you around maybe ten dollars or 500 rupees uh, in indian currency so let's get started now first things first you open the console and go to the google cloud storage so we're going to create a new bucket so currently if you see i have already created one bucket which uh, the current site is where i have my current static content static index.html file so i'm going to create a new bucket for this demo so one thing to make sure here is whenever you create the bucket let's say you put example.com so when you put the domain name here you have to verify the ownership of the domain meaning that it will only allow you to use the domain name only if it knows that you are the owner so you can go to the web central and i have added myself uh, cloudadvocate.net which i brought it long back but i haven't used it much so this for this domain i am the owner so i have made sure that i have added the property here in the web central if you don't do that the name of your bucket can be something else but it cannot be the domain name so now i'm going to use test.cloudadvocate.net click on continue and here i'm going to use a single region you can use multi-region as well uh, but for me this is enough north virginia and here we're going to use standard obviously if you don't want to use near line or cold line because this is a frequently accessed data and you can keep this as a uniform uh, click on continue and the default is google managed key which is enough click on create so now once you have created the bucket and it allowed me because i'm the owner of this domain so now i'm going to upload my sample index.html file all right so the index.html file is uploaded the next thing what i have to do is go to the browse again here click on the browse and select the one that we have created right now which is test.cloudbucket.net click on the uh, checkbox here if you don't have the panel on the right side click on show info panel and now add a member and say call it as all users because we're going to give public access to the uh, bucket so this is how we're going to do that and here cloud storage and storage object viewer because viewer is enough as uh, you know whenever somebody would hit the uh, domain name they're going to view the object so click on ok hello public access to this bucket good so we have enabled public access now if you go to the bucket you would see a link click on the link and you can see that i have a http endpoint where uh, you know it is taking me to slash bucket and slash index.html now what we have to do is we have to make sure that whenever somebody would hit test.cloudadvocate.net like i was showing you guys you know when i hit uh, gk.cloudadvocate.net it is going into my storage and fetching the index.html file so to do that uh, we have to go to the webmaster so i'm using google domains and if you're using godaddy or if you're using anything else uh, the steps are similar so what we need to do is we need to create a new c name so click on the dns and i'm not sure the console of uh, godaddy but basically you have to create a new c name the c name here is going to be test which is going to be test.cloudbucket.net and select the cname here and the domain 
this is important is going to be this so once you add it it takes couple of hours sometimes to propagate the dns servers all right so we are good with this the other thing that you have to make sure here is go to the browser again and here on the right side the three dots click on that and edit website configuration this is important here we're going to say what is our main index.html file you know what is the main file the entry file whenever somebody would hit the domain i don't have a 404 file i haven't created that but basically this is enough all right folks i gave it a, a couple of minutes and now you can see when i'm hitting test.cloudworker.net i'm getting the website so this is how you're going to create a, a very simple static content based uh, website you can have uh, a simple html files or bunch of css files you know throw that into the bucket and if you have a domain uh, point that domain uh, to the bucket uh, like how i have shown you guys now, two other things which i want to talk before i conclude this video so one thing is how you can make it super cheap meaning you know every time you hit the bucket you're going to uh, incur some cost because you you're transferring the file index.html file though it is like a very small file but you're still still transferring the file or network so to avoid that what i would recommend you all is so use a service called cloudflare so cloudflare is a cdn service where it is going to cache your static content in this case our index.html is a static content and every time you hit the domain it's going to serve the content from the cloudflare instead of going into your gcs bucket so that way if you don't hit your gcs bucket you're not going to you know pay, pay anything to google you can have your free html based website so go to the cloudflare and configure it for free so they have a free sign up so you can do that which i have done it here and after you have configured uh, click on that and go to the dns settings so if you have added the record uh, you make sure you add the record here which is test and then the same way that we have done in my actual uh, you know google domains so do that here you're good to go so the other thing which i want to throw you all a challenge is create your own resume using a domain and host your resume in google cloud storage i hope you will take this challenge and you would uh, you know try it out at your home uh, create a simple html based uh, resume or uh, cv there are many actually many websites uh, open source free resume templates you can grab any of them um, copy this content into a gcs bucket and then uh, host your own domain and point the domain to this website that way you're going to have your own resume that you can showcase whenever you're going for interviews i think that's all i wanted to show you all in this video and uh, i hope you will try this out at home so one more thing that i want you guys to observe here is when i'm hitting the domain the domain is going over http which is not secure obviously right so we can make it secure if you know the answer how to make it secure put it in the comment section i'm gonna come up in the next video how to make it secure with that thank you so much for watching and let me know in the comment section if you have any issues with this thank you all bye